Midterm 1, question 2, APOC. This was meant to be a 5-minute question. I figure people who are really, really well prepared will do that in one, one and a half minute, and by the rest of the class will do that in 5 minutes. This circuit, and they would tell us what is the argument's value of the voltage in the source, 128 volts in my case, and because I need a 0 degrees reference for phases, I might as well use that. Why not? They also telling me is that the source is delivering that much appearing power. 9,800 volt amperes, and they give me what is the power factor that the source is, 43% capacitive in my case. They give me also the resistance of the cable and the reactance of the cable. And what do they want? They want the RMS value of the voltage and the load. They want what is the active power, the reactive power, and the power factor and the load. Geez, if I only had the current in the circuit, it would be easy to find VF. VF would be the voltage of the source minus the drop in the cable. Yeah. And with that voltage VF and that current, I could compute PF, QF, and the power factor. Let's find IX then. Let me do that on the calculator because it's that simple. VS is 128 with 0 degrees, a real number. A complex power at the source. 9,800 volt amperes with an angle of negative. Why negative? Because it's capacitive. R cosine of 0 0.43. Is the impedance of the cable? 0.15 plus 1.8J. And now IX is the complex conjugate of the complex power of the source divided by the voltage of the source. That is that. The voltage at the factory is the voltage of the source minus the drop in the cable. Vs minus Zc multiplied by Ix. And the complex power at the load is the voltage at the load Vf multiplied by the complex conjugate of the current Ix. We're ready. What is the RMS value of the voltage at the load? Absolute value of Vf, 257 volts. What is the active power at the load? Real part of Sf, 3.3 kilowatts. What is the reactive power and the load? The imaginary part of the complex power, SF. Negative 19.4 kilovolt ampere reactives, kilovars. And the power factor and the load? Cosine of the argument of SF. That is 0.169. Capacitive inductive. Capacitive, check out QF. QF is negative, it's capacitive. And that was the solution to this exercise. Thank you very much, my friends.